Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy here and welcome to the Beginners to Pro DAX series. In our previous lesson, we covered the difference between sum and sum x and how to use them. And in this lesson, we're going to cover the conditional functions if and switch. And within that, we're going to cover how to use and and or because they're related when you want to add some more conditions. But we'll get onto that later on throughout the video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this lesson. So let's go ahead and start. The first thing we want to talk about is if you're new to if logic and you're not familiar with Excel or you've never written an if statement, what is what is an if? Essentially, if is um, what, we, what we're doing here is we're, we're, we're writing if condition is true, return x, otherwise return x. Now, what does this mean if, you, if you're not familiar with an if statement? Let's use an example. If the sales quantity is greater than 10, return high volume otherwise return false so what, what we're saying is if the sales quantity is greater than 10 so in, in that condition is true return high volume otherwise because that condition wasn't met everything else is low volume and essentially that's what an if statement is now what can happen is you can have multiple if statements in a sense where you have multiple conditions now this is what you refer to as a nested if so you write an if within an if and within power bi it's actually not ideal to do that and we can use um, switch instead to do um, a different way of using an if statement but we'll get on to that let's go ahead and write our first if which is a very basic one condition measure so the question is, if the unit cost is greater than 15, define that as high cost, otherwise low cost. So let's go ahead and do that. And right now, we're just creating new columns. We're not doing if statements within more complex DAX. Let's just understand how ifs work. So I'm going to create a new column and let's call this if cost. Now, I'm going to write if, so we're supporting our, if, our DAX, if the unit cost, so unit cost is one of our columns, if the unit cost is greater uh, is less than 10 is less than 15 let's say less than 15 we want the result to be high cost let's do above 15 actually let's do above 15 we want that to be high cost otherwise low cost um, I'm going to write low cost and we've now written our first if statement. So what does this mean? If the product unit cost is greater than 15, if, the, if that condition is true, we want it to return high cost, otherwise low. So let's take a look. The unit cost is less than 15, so it doesn't meet that condition. Therefore, it's going to be low cost, and that's how it works. If take an example here where something's over $15. We've got $20 is greater than 15 so the condition is true so it's going to meet the high cost condition and there we have high cost now that's how essentially how an if statement works but let's say we wanted to say if sales cost is unit cost is greater than 15 and the shipping cost is and the shipping name is deluxe this is where we go on to the second part of, of this lesson where we're going to learn how to use and and or. And before we actually write and or, or in within our conditions, it's worth noting that you should use these two symbols for and and the pipeline, the two pipes for or. It's best practice and it really cleans up your measures. Instead of writing multiple ors, you can write that next to your measure. And let's go ahead and actually demonstrate this. So whenever I write the two ands, I'm referring to and. And if I use a pipeline, I'm referring to or. So let's create a new column. And what I'm going to say, what, what's our condition? We're going to say if the unit cost, so let's call this if unit cost and. Okay. And it's worth also noting that when you say and, that means both conditions have to be met. So what do I mean by, by, mean by this? So if unit cost is less than 10 and, so I'm going to put the double and, and the brand and the brand name is Contoso equals Contoso. Let's write Contoso. Then we want the result to be high volume, otherwise low volume. And let's go ahead and actually check what what, what I've written here. So essentially, what we've said is. If the unit cost is less than 10, so that's our first condition, this has to be met for this to be met. If this isn't met, then it's immediately a false. Now, 
Is it less than 10? No, so it's low volume. Now in the second one, is it less than 10, the unit cost? Yes, it is. So we've met the first condition, true. Now the second condition is the brand name Contoso. Yes, it is. That means it's going to define it as high volume because in both these conditions were met. Whenever you write and, you're saying both conditions. So the first condition and the second condition for it to be true. Now, once again, let's use one more example here um, of a low volume. So the cost here is greater than 10. So therefore, it's going to be low volume because um, it doesn't meet that condition. Now, let's say we wanted to write multiple ands. You don't have to just put in one. You can put in as many conditions as you want. So let's go ahead and delete this. Let's go ahead and delete this. So we, we've written, if the product unit cost is less than 10, and the class name, so that's the shipping method, equals regular. And we could put another and if we wanted to. And the brand name is Contoso. Brand name equals Contoso. Result, if that's true, we're going to call that high volume, otherwise low volume. And let's actually take a look at this and see oh i need to delete that let's take a look at this and actually analyze the multiple ands all three of these conditions have to be met because remember ads combined they mean every single condition has to be met so if the product cost unit cost is less than 10 it hasn't been met is that less than 10 yes is the shipping method regular no so let's go ahead and take a look at something with regular let's take a look at regular and let's put the brand name as Contoso. So we can actually see an example of it working. And then the unit cost, let's send that by ascending. So let's take a look at this. So if the unit cost is less than 10, yep, yeah, that condition has been met. The, the class name, so this is the shipping method, regular, that's been met. Brand name Contoso, yep, yeah, that's been met. Therefore, high volume. With ands, and I'll say this once again, Every everything that's been combined with an and that has an and all those conditions have to be met When that doesn't happen is if we put in an or so this goes into an or statement We're saying if the product unit causes any of these conditions or We can set another condition. So let's let's put in the double pipelines now If we put in the double pipelines what we're saying is or so we need to remove that if any of these conditions are met or the product unit cost product unit cost uh, let's write unit cost is less than 15 uh, let's do no well, let's write if product unit cost equals less than 10 or and we can put another and in here product unit cost Product unit cost. Actually, no, let's do less than 20. So, what we've done is essentially all I've written in here is if the product unit cost is less than 10 and the product class name is regular and the brand name is Contoso, result true, or if the product unit cost is just less than 20, result true. So, it can meet either of these conditions. So, now Everything here, if we just take this sort off and check something out, which is 20, can we see anything? High volume over here. So the unit cost over here is not meeting the first condition because the first condition is saying all of these have to be true. So it didn't meet that, but the or, it was less than 20, so the unit cost is less than 20, over here it's 12, so therefore we've defined that as high volume. So with, with ors, we can... Alls work differently to ands. Ands are each condition has to be met. An or is a bunch of different conditions. So we said if the unit cost is less than 20, or uh, we can put in another or. Let's put in another or. If the brand name, if the, if the class name, so this is the shipping method, equals a regular. And if we test this once again, so if we just put in regular, everything is going to be high volume because it didn't meet this first condition. So we said product name less than 10. 
doesn't matter. Or, so the second condition, less than 20, it, doesn't, it, it met the one of those conditions. But it's met the third condition as well, regular, therefore it's going to be high volume. So essentially that's how that if statements and and all work. And, and you want to use the pipelines and the double ands because that's best practice. So